Hello, Bob Allison, WB1GCM ARRL test engineer, here to show you the UKIT's HB1B 4 band QRP transceiver. It has a 5 watt output for real QRP enthusiasts. It's rather small, a little over 5 inches wide, not even just a little bit over 3 inches tall, a little bit over an inch deep. Lightweight too comes in at about 13.4 uh, ounces overall without the internal battery pack. The charge jack is down here for the optional internal lithium ion rechargeable battery pack. Your key, straight key and key or paddle plug in here. Uh, your headphones plug in here. I'm driving a pair of amplified speakers right now. That works quite nicely. Antenna jack is located here and your DC internal power is up there. Between 19 and 14 volts it accepts. Not too many controls. On off switch, uh, IF filter, narrow and wide. I can adjust this IF filter down to a width of what I measured to be 216 hertz all the way up to I measured 1243 hertz. This works really well with getting rid of QRM and not much ringing is noticed on the narrow positions. Uh, the tuning is rather straightforward. I turn the knob and uh, right now I'm tuning in 100, uh, uh, 100 kilohertz steps. I press the knob again. I'm tuning in a kilohertz steps. And I press the, I'm way out of the hand bands, aren't I? Oh my. Press it again. There's one hundredths of a hertz and tenths of a hertz. Let me hit that again. Uh, the RIT is very functional for operating split. So just like the big transceivers that are out there, you can uh, work the split DX uh, contacts, the rare DX. Uh, once you press this, like that, uh, a little arrow appears. Look, I'm tuning up the frequency. This is where I'm going to be listening now, or below the actual operating frequency. There, the little arrow says down. Press it again to shut it off. If I hold this button down, it affects the mode, changes the mode. Hold it down, there's upper sideband. Oh, this tunes in sideband just terrific. And when you zero beat, zero beats AM broadcast stations uh, very, very nicely for shortwave reception. Hold it down again, lower sideband. Hold it down again and back to CW. Your CQ button will send CQ, 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 day your call sign. Uh, and uh, this control over here is for the uh, VFO or memory and saving the channel information in a particular memory. Pretty straightforward. Hey, let's take a quick peek inside. Now here's the inside of the HB1B. It has the latest uh, circuit mount technology. Little itty bitty parts, there's your crystal filter, your different bandpass filters here, the RF output stages right here. And look at all this space here. That's where the optional battery pack goes. Looks like that. And QRP works just great. Except for today, there's an M-Class flare. <laughs> well, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM at the AR Laboratory. And if you're really good at CW, try considering teaching a new ham CW. You'll be a great mentor.